Hi guys, welcome back to the Fit Refresh. My name is Sarah Martinez. I'm a health coach who helps professional yo-yo dieters create a long-term relationship with food and fitness. Uh, today is a topic I'm very excited about, so I'm gonna jump right in. It is five foods that are draining your energy. Let's do it. All right, here's the time. I need you to subscribe to my channel and of course, like this video and ask questions if you have them. Uh, I will always get back to you and uh, your questions are worth my time, absolutely. So today's topic is really, really important because we do so much to try to boost our energy, right? Uh, we will you know, take supplements, we'll drink a pot of coffee, we'll drink energy drinks, all of these things in the hopes that it's gonna help us feel more awake, get us more energized to do things. And what we need to do is stop and realize how much the foods we are already putting in us are counteracting our efforts to do better, to be stronger, to have more energy, to all, all, these, all these things. Some foods could actually be making it harder for that to happen. You could drink all the coffee in the world, but if the food you had right before that coffee is dragging you down, maybe it just cancels each other out, if anything, at the very least, if not, does more going the wrong direction. So I've got five different foods for you today that are probably draining your energy more than you might even realize. White bread, pasta, and rice. Now listen, carbohydrates are really great for your body. You do need carbohydrates. Your body you know, uses them as energy very well. But what you wanna look for are your fiber rich carbohydrates. So essentially your rice, your pastas, your breads, these are all uh, carbohydrates that had that great fiber. And then through processing, they're stripped of that fiber. So now what you have left is an empty carb. So what happens is when you eat this, your body gets a lot of energy. It's like, yes, carbohydrates, I got it. And then because it's an empty carbohydrate and your body does not take a long time processing it, you crash and you usually crash a lot harder than where you started. Number two, Foods with added sugar. So obviously you have your like bananas and all those fruits or whatever that are just natural sugars. But we're talking about foods with added sugars. So again, you're looking at the same thing. It's an empty carb. So if you eat a food that has an added sugar in it, of course it's gonna give you a boost. It's gonna boost your energy because you're getting that big sugar rush, that rush of carbohydrates that your body loves. Um, however, um, right after that, once your body has completely gone through it as quick as it can, uh, you're gonna have a big, big crash. So even though you do still get the high, you are gonna have a deeper, longer drain crash at the other end of it. Uh, alcohol, I know, I know you don't want me to say it, and I don't even know if alcohol is truly a food group, but, <laughs> but if it is part of your diet, it could also be contributing to feeling drained. Now, the actual act of drinking, actually alcohol itself is a depressant, um, which we usually do it because we're like, oh, we want to have fun, we want to have a good time, but really you're putting something in your body that's actually bringing you down a little bit. But on the other hand, the real problem is when you consume alcohol, it actually disrupts your sleeping patterns. Now, if you have just like a glass or a drink before you go to bed or, or in the evening, um, it's not gonna affect you too much, but once you get into those like three or four drinks, um, now you're gonna find that your REM cycles are not gonna be as complete. Therefore, your next day is gonna be, you're gonna be drained of a lot of energy. Number four, fried or fast foods. I know I'm, I'm mama kill the energy today, right? Um, fried or fast, fast foods. So this has kind of the opposite effect of your really heavy carbohydrates. When you're eating something in such deep saturated fat, it takes a long time for your body to digest that. It goes through a huge process. And in that process, you're gonna feel weighed down. You're gonna feel depleted of energy and drained. So having a high uh, diet of fried foods and fast foods is gonna drain your energy. You could drink as many cups of coffee as you need to, um, but having that kind of diet is just gonna constantly make you feel tired. Not to mention, fried and fast foods are completely drained of their uh, nutrients and minerals and the actual items that could help with creating energy in your body. So if you're eating something that's literally giving you no energy and it's weighing you down so you cannot get more energy as well, it's a double whammy. And my number five, my last one. Now this is gonna feel a little confusing because um, this is your low calorie food. So right away I'm sure you're thinking, well how is that bad Sarah? How is that gonna help, how is that gonna drain my energy? Um, I'm eating good food, I'm keeping my calories low. Um, so the, the idea here is that you're not giving yourself enough food. 
okay? Um, so food is fuel. Your body needs food to be able to function properly. Um, so if you are not giving it what it needs when it needs it, it's going to just drain you of energy. You're gonna feel like a lack of focus. Um, you're going to feel like you can't complete simple tasks. Um, there's a bunch of side effects for not eating enough calories. Um, so, and this is typical with a lot of clients that I work with um, that you, that they will not have as much food at the beginning of the day. And by the end of the day, you're starving. Your body is depleted of all its energy and all it's gonna wanna do is eat food, a whole bunch of food. So um, eating low calorie uh, snacks and low calorie foods to kind of, um, you know, cut the edge or maybe not feel as full, sometimes can backfire and actually drain you of the actual energy you need. So here's my takeaway. It's not just about, oh, you need to cut these foods out that are draining your energy. You can actually eat foods that are going to boost your energy, that are actually going to, instead of needing your coffee, your energy drink, your supplements, you actually could eat food that will make you feel more energetic. So sticking to those whole grains, veggies, fruits, you know, lean meat, staying away from too heavy of fats, um, that type of stuff is going to help boost your energy level. It's going to keep you, uh, it's going to have you wake up, you know, a lot fresher, have a lot stronger of energy throughout the entire day. Um, and if you keep focusing and getting foods that are dragging you down, you're going to constantly be trying to fight it, trying to find that thing that's going to bring you back up again. So clean eating. It's all relating back to that this month um, or in these last series of videos, if you've been watching. Um, you know, clean eating is the key. You want to make sure that your diet represents the things that you want to put in your body that will make you, that will elevate you, not pull you down, right? Um, and again, I preach an 80-20 rule. So, you know, you can eat clean and have a really good outlook on life and still enjoy the things you want to enjoy. It's just about balancing the scales so that you are enjoying the good stuff, the good for you stuff more often than the bad, but the bad can still be there and you can still have a balanced diet, balanced weight goals, um, and live a very happy and successful life. All right, well, check out my website right down here below. Um, and of course, I always have different programs going on, working with clients all the time. So if you find yourself uh, the type of person that keeps going back and forth into diets and nothing seems to work, uh, a lot of unhappiness, uh, feel like that you'll never be able to lose the weight, all of those feelings, um, I solve them. So, you know, come talk to me uh, and we'll, we'll do some magic on new outlooks in your life. Thank you for joining me. I so appreciate you watching this video. And of course, there's many other videos on this channel for you to enjoy if you have more questions about different subjects. And uh, until next time. I looked down at my paper here and I was trying to swipe it with my finger. It's like normal writing on paper. <laughs>